Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I thought I would update one of my first guides I ever did. Cooking. Cooking in New World can be a massively profitable skill. Although you won't see huge payouts all at once, like with weaponsmithing or armoring, you will consistently make small amounts of gold over time through thousands of sales. Consumables are always being purchased. People will always want them and often could not be bothered farming for them, which is great for you. So when you have mastered your cooking skill, you will have a steady income that you will be mind blown at how easy and how rich it can be to make over time. So let's get into it. Most of the materials you will need to level cooking won't take very long to gather. It is possibly one of the easiest professions to max in New World. However, if you decide to gather everything on your own, then you will want to consider specking your character appropriately and with the correct gear to increase your yield to speed things up. So to begin, it is important to consider the attribute bonuses you get from both dexterity and intelligence. If you want to get your ingredients harvested as quickly as possible, these are going to be worth specking into. If you're wanting to skin animals and primarily use meat, the dexterity attribute has these bonuses. At 50 dexterity, you'll receive a 10% skinning speed increase. At 100 dexterity, you will receive a 20% haste for 3 seconds after skinning. And at 150 dexterity, you will get a minus 10% weight of skinned items. 200 dexterity, you will receive a skinning speed increase of 10%, now totaling 20% increase. And at 250 dexterity, you will receive a 10% yield when skinning increase. The intelligence attribute has the following bonus for gathering crops. At 50, you receive a 10% harvest speed increase. And at 100, you receive a 5% chance for one Azoth when harvesting. At 150, you receive a minus 10% weight of harvested items. And at 200, you receive a plus 10% harvest speed, now a total of 20%. And at 250, you receive a plus 10% yield increase when harvesting. The tools you choose to use will also play a big role in how fast you will be when obtaining your cooking ingredients. You will want a tool, both a skinning knife and a sickle, depending on what you are focusing on at that moment, to have yield and the luck perks on them. It is also never a bad idea to have Azoth extraction. And of course, if you are watching this guide after the patch 1.2, you will want to have gather speed as your third perk. It is also a very good idea in both cases to wear as much luck as possible, skinning while skinning and harvesting luck while gathering crops, because in the case of skinning the tier 5 rare foods will really speed up the process. And in the case of gathering crops, there is a chance if you roll over 95,000 when gathering that you can receive bonus items from the node. So in both cases, the more luck you have, the faster the process of getting the materials together will be. You will also always want to be using a proficiency potion. The higher the tier, the better. But even if you only can use the lowest tier, the percent yield is better than none. So be sure to have those on hand. And now that you have all of that set, let's look into our shopping list. So for the complete 1 to 200, these are the things you're going to need. 988 broccoli, 3073 pork, 2728 blueberries, 3073 corn, 1050 honey, and 1050 of a tier 5 food of your choice, or a mixture of them. Getting these ingredients will seem like it is going to be very difficult, but honestly it is not. For the pork, you will just kill boars in any zone. They are everywhere, or purchase it on the market to save time, because there is always pork on there for 0 .01. But if by chance it isn't, for some strange reason, head out to anywhere, and you will find boars even in the stutter beach areas. For the corn, you can go to almost any farm you find, but if you want it fast, and I mean fast, head to Hibbetsfeld. You can get hundreds of corn per spawn. For the blueberries, the ruins that are between the Amrine Excavation and the Starstone Barrows are completely covered in blueberries. Spend a couple of hours here and you will have all that you need. The broccoli I got by running between Willett's Homestead and Trez Campos Farm. This is the best spot I have found on the map for gathering broccoli and as a bonus while doing this you will find honey trees all over in between the run. The tier 5 food you choose to use will be the most difficult to hand gather. 
So, for that one, I would recommend just buying it. One of them will be affordable, and although you may end up spending around 1300 gold, it will save you many hours of farming, and the net gold loss from the time you're farming will probably be higher than just buying it. Now that you have all of these ingredients, an important thing to consider before we begin is where you are going to be doing your cooking. Preparing this many regen meals at your camp will give you a decent amount of standing, so choose somewhere you would like to increase potentially to gain buffs, or to raise it to buy a home. Whatever the reason, there is no point in wasting this standing. I mean, let's get as much for our efforts as possible. Now to the leveling. In order to efficiently level cooking, you're going to want to stick with making recovery foods. The more complicated meals will provide more experience per craft, but it'll take you an incredible amount of time to obtain the ingredients, and this will outweigh the time that you need to make recovery food. Also, if you have gathered everything beforehand and are planning to power level, be careful of what foods are in the drop down menu. You don't want to accidentally use a tier 5 food when making a tier 2 regen food and have to go out and gather this again. So from 0 to 50, here you will be making 345 travel rations. So for the ingredients, select 345 corn in the first drop down box and 345 pork for the second. From 50 to 100, now we will be switching to light meals. Here you will want to select blueberries for the tier food box, then pork and corn for the other two food boxes. Now you will make 690 of these. From 100 to 150, here we will be making 988 satisfying meals. For this one, select broccoli as your tier food, then pork and blueberries and corn for the other filler food boxes. And finally, from 150 to 200, here we will be making 1,050 hearty meals. So for this one, select your tier 5 food in the tier box, whichever one you chose to collect. And blueberries, corn, pork for the other food boxes. And for the seasoning, this box you can choose honey, as it is the only option here that is going to be cost effective as a seasoning for this recipe. And you're finished. Now you are a 200 chef. Congratulations. But as always, this is just the beginning. You have a lot of work to do now before you can maximize your earning potential. The first thing you will notice is that you will have access to all of the recovery foods, but will only have access to up to tier 2 for the attribute foods, tier 2 for the gathering foods, and tier 3 for the crafting foods. Luckily though, you will also have access to all the dyes. The higher tier recipes will have to be found by looting provision containers. The higher the tier recipe you are looking for, the higher tier zone you are going to have to go to in order to find the recipe. Recipes that can be looted are tradable so you can purchase them from the trading post as well. When you are hunting for recipes, you will want to be aware of the level of the zone you are in. For tier 3 recipes, you are going to want to be in zone 16 to level 38 and look for provision crates. For the tier 4 recipes, you will need to be in zones level 36 to 58 and loot the provision crates. And for the tier 5 recipes, these will only appear in provision crates in zones level 56 plus. You are also going to want to have cooking trophies in your homes while you are cooking. These trophies give you a boost to your chances at getting bonus items while cooking, which is going to be important when cooking higher tier meals with a lot more costly and rare ingredients. These trophies are the Minor Cooking Trophy, which can be made by any furniture maker for very common materials. It provides a 10% chance at additional items while cooking. The basic cooking trophy. This one is going to require you have the Chef's Secret Techniques Artifact item to craft, but will provide a 20% increase to your chance at bonus items while cooking. And finally, the Major Cooking Trophy. This one will require that you have the Chef's Secret Cookbook Artifact, as well as sacrifice a basic trophy in order to craft, but will provide a 30% chance at bonus items while cooking. You can of course have three of these, one in each of your homes, and the bonuses do stack. There is also a chef's set of armor available too as a cook. The hat can be looted from elite chests in the Lazarus instrumentality. The chest you will get as loot from killing the Disciple of Disorder. The gloves will come from elite chests in Mbutsi Inferior. The pants will come from loot if you kill Faye the Last Protector. And the boots can be found in elite chests again in Mbutsi Inferior. This set adds plus 4 chance at bonus items while cooking per piece for a total of 20%. You can also have a jewel crafter make you an amulet using the Orichalcum Chef Charm. This will add an additional 4% chance at bonus items while cooking. 
Once you have all of that, there are a few different types of food you will be making as a chef in New World. These foods can be broken down into four categories. Recovery foods are used to recover both health and mana, and you will have access to all of these all the way up to Tier 5 by default. Attribute foods. These foods, as you would guess, increase a certain attribute for a certain amount of time and by a certain amount, depending on the tier of the food. You will be able to craft foods that buff all attributes. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Focus, and Constitution. For each category also, there are combination foods, like Constitution plus Strength, Focus plus Intellect, and so on. You will only have access by default to Tier 2 of these foods, and will need to find the remaining recipes in provision crates around the world. Also, Trade Skill Foods. Trade Skill Foods are both crafting and gathering foods. For each gathering profession, you can craft a food that will increase your luck by a certain amount depending on the tier. And for each crafting profession, you can craft a food that will increase your minimum and maximum gear score for crafted items for a certain amount of time and by a certain amount. And food components. Food components are simply cooking version of refining. You can turn grains like corn into flour, milk into butter or cheese to be used in more complex recipes. You will also be making dyes. In fact, other than the in-game real money shop, you will be the only source for these dyes in-game. So in time, you will be making a decent amount of gold off of making these. The only other thing important to you as a cook is that you will need herbs, and a lot of them. Herbs, unlike other gatherable resources in New World, all come from the same plant, the high sop. But depending on which zone you are in, you will receive different herbs. This also applies to rare cooking ingredients like salt, sugar, and yeast, and so on, that are found in provision crates. So I've included at the end of this video a list of zones and what you will find in them if you are searching. Anyways guys, I hope this guide has explained how simple cooking can be to level, but also how difficult it can be to master. But if you take the time and get everything you need, you will be able to turn common things you loot all day playing into thousands of gold very simply. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. First light from the provision crates, you're going to have a chance at getting cauliflower, milk, onions, and melons. The spices that you can get from the herb plants in First Light are cinnamon, dill, saffron, and nutmeg. In Cutlass Keys, the provision crates offer milk, onion, orange, and tomato. The spices that are available from the herb plants in Cutlass Keys are cinnamon, parsley, and peppercorn. In a Monarch's Bluff, the provision crates offer a chance at milk, rice, yeast, and tomatoes. And the spices available from herbs in this, in this region are peppercorns, oregano, and paprika. In Shattered Mountain, the food from provision crates that you could potentially get will be milk, rice, and yeast. The spices available from the herb plants in Shattered Mountain are oregano and paprika. In the Great Cleave, the provision crates offer lemon, melon, and milk. The spices available from herb plants in this region are garlic, nutmeg, and rosemary. In Eden Grove, the provision crates offer a chance at cauliflower, milk, onion, and oranges. And the spices available from herb plants in this region are cinnamon, parsley, and dill. In Morningdale, the provision crates offer a chance at cauliflower, milk, oranges, and tomatoes. And the spices available from herb plants in this region are dill, parsley, peppercorn, and saffron. In Restless Shore, the provision crates offer milk, coconut, lemon, and rice. And the spices available from herb plants in this region are rosemary, oregano, and mint. In Weaver's Fen, the provision crates offer coconut, lemon, melon, and milk. And the spices available from the herb plants in this region are mint, nutmeg, and rosemary. In Brightwood, available from the provision crates are apples, milk, salt, and yeast. And the spices available from herb plants in this region are basil, paprika, saffron, sage, and tarragon. In Evanscale Reach, available from provision crates is milk, string beans, and sugar. And the spices available from herb plants in this region are ginger and thyme. In reek water available from provision crates is apples, milk, string beans, and sugar. 
and the spices available from herb plants in this region are ginger, sage, tarragon, and thyme. In Everfall, available from provision crates is milk, salt, and string beans, and the spices available from herb plants in this region are basil, garlic, and sage. In Windsward, the spices and cooking ingredients available from provision crates are coconut, milk, and sugar, and the spices available from herb plants are ginger, mint, and thyme.